In this video, I'm going to flip through my planner sticker storage system and show you how I keep my stickers organized for using Functionally and my Erin Condren monthly planner. Hi, I'm Kristen and I love functional planning because it helps me simplify my life as a solo parent. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. If you have been watching my channel for a bit, then you will recognize this and you will also notice that I have changed up some things a little bit. Um, I used to keep my stickers in these folders that I made. Um, these are just cardstock, just normal cardstock I bought at Walmart. And then these are just like Avery stick-on tabs that I used my label maker to make labels for the months and then just like monthly and this worked for me for a really long time and honestly it still is a great system and I would recommend this. The reason I like it is because the um, typical photo album style like where you slide it into the little plastic sleeve was too fiddly for me um, for putting the stickers away. Like it's great for flipping through and seeing what you have but for things that I was accessing regularly, it was really annoying to have to go put everything back into the sleeves individually. And so I stopped using that and started using the little folder system because it was easy to just flip through, get what I needed and put it back without having like a lot of fuss. And I still really like this system, um, but I recently purchased something else to try for something else and then that didn't work out. And so I decided, I don't know, we'll get to that. But um, so I want to show you the three things I have here. Um, these are all from Planner Kate. This is a little mini album and this is pretty old. I'm not sure if they have this anymore. Um, anything that I can find, I will link it in the description. I am a Planner Kate affiliate, and so I do get credit if you use my link, but you can also use my code, which is KK20, and that will get you 20% off um, whatever the price is on the site currently. So this is a small album that I use for just overflow for the stuff that doesn't fit in here or that I haven't filled in here yet. So this is my reusable sticker book and this is the workhorse of my sticker storage. I reach for this every time I plan and I have it organized um, by month for my Erin Condren monthly planner color scheme. I do like to decorate based on the color scheme that's printed in the planner. And so I organize my stickers in that way because that makes it faster and just easier to get what I need. I don't need to look at a bunch of orange stickers if I'm trying to get this, right? And so I know that if I want this color, I flip to the January section and these are just the vegan leather tabs from Erin Condren. Um, but if I want to flip, if I want this color, I flip to this section and I have everything that I need and then so on and so forth for all the months. And then in towards the back of it, after the months are done, I have all of the neutral stickers and just anything black and white or scripts and such if I need anything from back there. To be honest, I rarely go back here. Um, sometimes I look for scripts to use for headers, but really I've been using just my Planner Kate stickers as headers um, just because they match. So that's how I have that set up. I also put a pocket back here. This is from Erin Condren. Um, there's also some on Amazon that are I think the same, I haven't purchased them yet. Um, this fits here if you trim it just slightly. And I mean, barely, it doesn't affect the pocket at all to just trim off the little like edge. There's just like a lip, I guess you could say. And so um, I just trim that off and it fits perfectly. And then I'm able to fit like full Planner Kate sticker sheets back there. Um, so for example, something like this, I'm probably not going to put all of these individual stickers in and so I just can slide them there and they fit perfectly. Um, you know, like this kind of stuff, all of the dots and such. Um, really, I keep those in the back of my planner and we'll talk about that at the end later, but 
um, I just wanted to like demo that for you. Um, and so, and also it's a great place to put stickers that I need to transfer into here. Like when I get a new sheet of stickers and I want to transfer those stickers into this book, um, it's a good place to store those. This is an old Planner Kate color coordinating sheet. Like um, you could purchase this to see the numbers and the colors for everything for color matching. Um, I think they phased out some of these colorways and so this is no longer accurate and I don't think it's even a listing on their site anymore. So I just keep it on there because it's there. It does peel off. It is kind of annoying in the future. I would just put it on like one of the actual sheets in here. Um, I thought I was being clever by putting it on the back cover, but um, it's it's been annoying. You can see it rips up and stuff and I have washi holding it down. Um, but if they ever update this and offer it again with current colors and stuff, um, I'm gonna buy one and put it on this back cover or this back page, not the back cover. So that is my reusable sticker book and we'll come back to this one again as well. Um, actually, let me just finish the thought with this one. So these are all my BW icons and I take them off of their sheets. Um, and I put them, you can see, here's a, let me find one that's like a relatively a full sheet. So these sheets here, um, you can see they have a row for each, you probably can't see that, but there is a row for each of the Erin Condren monthly colors. And then at the bottom, there's usually some blank um, neutral ones with just like white hearts. And I take some off and put them in um, for each month and then you can see I still have a lot left and um, I can come here when I run out I can come and reload my pages with this book so that's what those are and I just keep extras here I started trimming off um, some of the sheets I don't think I need to do that anymore I was trying to make it easier to see um, but if I ever do end up repurchasing a sheet I think I'm just going to leave it um, a full sheet like this from now on because I still have a ton of space back here. Um, so it's, I don't think I need to consolidate like that. But anyway, that's the little mini sticker album that fits that small size, that small sheet size. And um, like I said, if they still make this, I will put a link in the description for that. There are other solutions for that that we'll get to in a minute. So, um, okay, so then, we have this, this is brand new. I purchased this because I wanted to try to make my own planner with it. Um, it didn't work because I don't have the right punch and I, I'm just gonna do something different. I just kind of got in a creative mindset and I purchased it. And um, I am glad that I did though because I, I realized that, the, the let's talk about what it's called first. This is the Planner Kate disc um, organizing sticker album sticker book. I don't know. I'll, I, I should be better at this and actually know what it's called, but it's a disc bound system that it comes with the covers and the discs. These are larger discs that I purchased separately. It comes with smaller discs, um, but it comes with the smaller discs, two covers, and the um, inserts, which are just clear, um, which are just clear inserts. So, um, and then you can get dividers separately, which I opted to do, so I have separate dividers. But these are the clear sleeves. So they come out because it's a disc bound system. They open on the sides so that when you're carrying it, nothing's gonna fall out, which I think is great. And then they just pop right back in. This is the largest size they make, and that's part of the reason why um, the make my own planner with it didn't work. I'm gonna, I think I still might go down and there's another option to get a one size smaller and I will show you that size page. I think I have that in here somewhere. And um, it does fit what I'm trying to do better. And so I think, um, I will do that from now on, but this is the eight by 10 size and there is a seven by nine size. So for stickers though, because that's why we're here, right? Um, for stickers, I am doing the same thing I was doing with my folder system 
in here. So it's the same concept, so it still works that same way. Yes, it's still a sleeve that I have to put stuff back into, but for me, this is much easier and it's not individual. Like I don't have to put um, each individual sheet in like a top loading thing. It's just easier. And what's even better is that I can just pull this out and keep this. I don't have to keep this whole book around. And that's kind of what I liked about the folders is that I could just take the one folder I was working with that month and then keep the rest put away somewhere and it wasn't just a bunch of stuff everywhere so I can do the same thing with this and then this keeps it a little more secure and the larger sheets fit in here where you can see before and these are sheets that I've been buying every month lately is the perpetual calendar that I use for my menu plan here on my dashboard and I buy them you know when they come out a couple of months before I need to use them and then they're always they were always just like you know they don't fit in the folder right they're still not protected and so I needed a better system and instead of figuring out how to make bigger folders, I just thought, why don't I just use this other thing I got that doesn't really work for what I wanted it to be for and use it the way it was meant to be used. And so that is what I'm doing now. So all of my stickers for each month go in each, you know, they go in one and I don't have to label these or anything because it literally says March right here. And so I don't have to label them. And the other cool thing is that because it's disc bound, um, I can, when March is over, I don't have to put this back in in front of April. I can put it back in the back where I've already put like my January and February that I've finished up. I can just put it in the back and it'll be, you know, back in order for next year whenever it comes back around again. And um, then I don't have to, I can just quickly see what I have and what I might like to purchase for the month of um, March or whatever month I'm working with. And um, it's just so much simpler, I think, um, than having everything in those top loading albums. And I just, I like that it's big enough to fit all the sheets now and I don't have to keep everything separate. So this is where I'm keeping my monthly stickers because the way I plan, I really only use stickers for my monthly spread um, because they help me consolidate. I kind of have big handwriting. So I can make my handwriting small but typically it will just fill the space that I have. And so I have found by using planner stickers to write things, I will write small enough so that I can have enough space for anything I might need. When I have more than one event happening each, you know, each day, it helps me consolidate that and it doesn't look messy. And that's really what I need because I use a monthly planner. And so it's really important that I fit all of my plans onto my monthly spread um, because I don't have weekly layouts already prepped each month, I draw them in myself, right? And so I need to make sure that my monthly spread is as neat and tidy as possible. Also, the stickers are movable, so if I need to move things around and reschedule things, I can do that without having to cross things out. That's also really important to me. So that's why I use planner stickers in my monthly spread, but I typically don't use a lot of planner stickers well, I also use them on my dashboard to customize my dashboard to be functional for me. But I don't use a ton of planner stickers in my weekly spreads. I might use a little bit of deco here and there, but I am just writing on the paper because this is fancy expensive paper that I paid a lot of money for. And so I want to write on it. I don't need to write on stickers constantly just because they exist and are cute. If I wanted to do that, I wouldn't buy such an expensive planner. I would just get a planner um, from anywhere really. But I like Erin Condren paper quality, so I don't use planner stickers on a weekly spread. Plus I just like this layout for me and how my brain works. So 
that is why I'm using planner stickers. And so my storage solution and organization system needs to reflect that so that I can easily use those stickers. Um, I'm using them by the month and by the color. And so organizing them by the month and by color is what makes sense to me. So that's where these live. Now I have another section here that is just kind of like extras. So I have these Planner Kate monthly tabs that I had purchased for different um, projects that I didn't end up using. I have um, my overflow stickers that I use. I like the header stickers and the R script stickers that I use. Um, you can see that I use those. Um, in here. So sometimes, uh, lately I've been using the R scripts a lot, um, but I do use the, I think these are called kit font, these ones. And then I also use those header stickers too. So I just, I do have a little bit of a variety. Like you can see here's a header sticker. Um, I do keep a little bit of a variety um, on hand. Lately, I've been just gravitating towards these a lot, but these also go into my um, little book here. So I will put um, the header stickers here and I only buy the ones that I would use headers for, obviously. And then I just take them off of these sheets and put them into the book when I get the new sheet and then they're always ready for me in here. And so there's extras usually. And so I just keep all of my extras together so that when I run out in here, I know where to find them. And plus there's colors that don't get used that don't really match the Erin Condren color scheme like red. And sometimes I do want to do red, like maybe I want to add a pop of red to the July spread because I do like the red, white, and blue theme in July or add a pop of red to the December spread because it's Christmas, you know, that kind of thing. So um, I do keep those in here for if I ever do need to reach for them. And so that's just kind of like an extra pack there. This is um, a sample sheet of, for samplers. So whenever um, you're looking at the disc bound system for Planner Kate sticker organization, you have the option to purchase a little pack that comes with one of each sheet, one of each insert, so that you can figure out what you might need or want or see if the stickers you have fit in there or whatever. So I did purchase that. It's pretty inexpensive. And these fit the little, um, the little sampler freebies that you get with your order. And so I just put some of the ones that I want to keep there. And um, most of the time, if they're stickers that I will use, I take those off and just put them directly into this book. So that's why sometimes you'll see, I have like little random ones, like all of these pencils, I've never purchased that sheet. And the same with all of these like dash doodle labels, I've never purchased that sheet. Um, those just come off of just random samplers that I get. And so some months I have those and other months I don't, um, just because, but, um, so I always put those directly into my book here. And then the ones that don't make sense to do that, like these little tiny stickers, um, I don't do that. And then I just keep them in here now. I was keeping them in the back of this, in this pocket. Um, but I wasn't reaching for them a lot and then the pocket was getting kind of over, overgrown, I guess, and overflowing maybe. And um, now I'm keeping them in here because these are kind of the types of stickers I won't reach for on a regular basis, but I might want them when I'm setting up my planner. Like these are the transparent circles that go over your, um, like your calendar, which I have covered mine up, <laughs> but um, the calendar that's printed in the planner and stuff like that. So I don't need those usually on a regular basis. And then also these little um, um, holiday stickers, I was putting them in here and you can see I have like some of the New Year's Day ones and um, I used the Valentine's Day one, but you know, there's, um, there's, like Easter and stuff like that. And I put Easter in April, but this year it's on March 31st. So I need to remember that. Actually, let's move it now. And I'll just show you how easy that is. So I am gonna move that over to my March page. So when I'm planning March, it's where I can see it if I wanna use it. And um, 
but this was just one I recently got and I figured I didn't need to reload my book just yet. So I put them in here and I just stuck this in and that's just easy to pop in there. And again, just more stickers that I might use for planner setup time. And so, you know, I've got my quarterly um, full page stickers here and just some of these things and more of those transparent stickers and a annual tracker. And then on the back, I have facing the other direction, just so there's something to look at when you turn the page, just some extra little things I might use. And then this is, you know, all of my sticker sheets with my months. And I do put some in my book. So you can see I have this same sheet here and I do have them in my book so that I have access to, and I've been using them. So um, I have access to these. Um, any kind of month names as needed. And I had, this is when um, I have actually been using the book. And so a lot of these haven't been refilled yet, but I could go and take these and put them in here when I decide to sit down and refill this book. Um, but that's where all of my monthly stickers are. And then back here is where I just have anything that's like days of the week or date dots. And then I have my weekly stickers here, my week numbers and then like the week of stickers. So, and then um, I just have the dividers back here and I'm not really, I don't really have anything else I need to put in here. So like this is just one of the empty ones on the, I mentioned earlier, I upgraded the uh, discs. I did purchase the largest set of discs. I believe it's 32 millimeters. Um, the when you purchase that the book the album it comes with the smallest set of discs and so i did need the larger ones so i'm glad i purchased them and so i would recommend purchasing them because once you start filling this up with stickers it's going to need that larger sheet or that larger um, circumference but um, i just keep all of the extra um, inserts on the smaller discs, which let me grab those and show you. Okay, so this is the smaller set of discs that comes with it. And then these are just the sleeves that came with it that I didn't need. And then these are some of the ones that came with the sampler, um, insert sampler I was talking about. And then let me tell you, let me put, I wanna put some of these dividers. I can just kind of make covers out of these dividers I'm not using, so. Let's pull those off. And I do have an extra sheet in there or an extra insert in there in case I need to put something in there. Let's put these on just to make a cover, just so it's a little more sturdy. And since I'm not using the dividers, that's you know simple. And then this, this is just in my file drawer just for whenever I need to add some more sheets, I will know where it is. And so these are some of the sampler sheets you can get where, oh, this one's backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is, you can have two little small sheets. This would be good for the add-on sheets you might get from Planner Kate, like the little icon samplers and such from the add-on listing. And then this is a full um, one sheet, which I was mentioning before, I think that the, these would fit well in there. So let's look at that real quick. Yeah, so, and you'll have room to spare with that as well. Okay, so those would fit well in there. And then, um, This is the size that I think I actually need. So this is the seven by nine size. And this is what I was imagining whenever I was thinking about the planner I wanted to make, because if you look at the Erin Condren planner, it's this size. So I think anything that is a full sheet, let's actually test it. I have a full sheet um, that fits a full Erin Condren seven by nine page. And I believe that this is gonna fit in there just right for storage. It's a little tight. Ooh, maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of tight. It's, it's not bending, it's not breaking, 
Okay, it does fit in there. It is just a little tight. If I was gonna store these long-term, I don't know, maybe I would trim that just to make it easier to get in there. Um, but I am happy with using the larger one. I just think the larger one's more versatile because you can fit any size sticker sheet in there. Um, but anyway, I think if I were to continue on with that project I had in mind of trying to make my own little disc planner, I might purchase the seven by nine album instead because that's what this is. And that, um, that came with a little sampler sheet as well. So maybe if you're not sure right away, just grab the sampler sheet because it's gonna come with one of every size. Um, and then that way you'll be able to determine which size cover to get, which size actual book to get. Um, the great thing is because it's discs, they all are gonna fit. So like you can have everything in one if you wanted. So if you did purchase the large one, you can just buy the, the inserts and then the dividers and stuff and then you can kind of create your own. It doesn't all have to be the same size and then the largest one will fit everything and then you don't have to worry about it. So that is how I organize my planner stickers to use for functional planning and just to make planning quicker and easier and just less of a ordeal. <laughs> it's really, for me, it's about finding it quickly when I need it but also being able to put it away because having just like a pile or just like I used to just kind of throw everything in a basket on the floor and then I wouldn't be able to find anything for ages and ages. So um, this I think is gonna work a lot better. Um, this I still think is a viable option. If you don't buy sheets that are larger than the Planner Kate full size sheet. Let's look at that real quick. So this is a full size, like if you buy a weekly sampler, um, this, this is the size you're getting and it will fit in this. It does stick out just slightly. So if it's like a tight fit in the like basket you're putting it in, it's probably not the best idea. But um, if these are just kind of like loose in a larger basket, this is perfect and it's very inexpensive, very accessible. You just can just get a pack of any cardstock or just cut up any cardstock you might have lying around and then fold it and um, you can use post-it notes as tabs. You can just glue on a piece of paper if you don't have anything. I've also made tabs out of folded washi tape. So, um, you know, it's this is super accessible and a great way to kind of get started um, if you're just stuck with your sticker organization. And um, I think the upgrade here is gonna work well for me. And I'm happy that little happy accident worked out. So that is how I am currently organizing all of my planner stickers. And um, it's so much more simpler. More simpler, is that how we say that? I don't know. It's so much easier <laughs> to get everything put away and back where it needs to go for the next time I'm going to sit down and plan. Oh, and then the last thing I wanted to say was don't overlook the pocket in the back of your planner. So you can keep stickers back here. And I have found that keeping the ones that I reach for the most, and actually these ones I don't really even reach for that often, these ones are like the workhorses in my planner. Um, these, this pocket is perfect for that. So you don't have to go dig through your stuff to find a sticker when you need it. If you are, you know, calling the dentist to schedule your appointments or something, um, just grab your stickers from back here and, and then you have them and they're ready. And if you take your planner with you somewhere, you have the stickers you need to use your planner with um, if you don't want to just write on there or use a sticky note or whatever. So I'm going to just kind of slide these in this back pocket and um, they're there if I need them. And that is basically how I am storing planner stickers right now and how it's 
working for me. Um, this pocket is really good for those stickers that you access on a regular basis. Okay, so that is how I organize and store my planner stickers so that I can use them functionally in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I would love to see you in the next one. Until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye. Oh,